Hello fellow book questers, it is I, Aaron the book quester. Welcome to the last episode of this house because I'm moving and I'm gonna introduce you to this pretty awesome book. Ghosts of the Shadow Market uh, uh, is a Shadow Hunter novel companion to New York Times bestselling series The Mortal Instruments and the Infernal Devices by Cassandra Clare, Sarah Reese Bernan, Maureen Johansson, Kelly Link, and Robin Wasserman. This book is kind of like a spin off, and it doesn't really have a lot of important stuff in it, just stuff like between like. The infernal devices and the mortal instruments, and some tidbits between their time, and some interesting information, but quite unimportant to the rest of the series. Nothing less. And so, by that, I mean it isn't bad, but isn't that good either. But it's a fun little read, and and it'll spend your time quite quickly and you won't even know if you finish the 600 huge thick pages of this book. And uh, by the way, this isn't one story. This is a couple of stories and that's probably why Cassandra Clare as a part had a part written in all of them. But th so I think each author and Cassandra Clare wrote one story. So Cassandra Clare and Sarah Reese Brennan wrote the first one. Cassandra Clare and Bernie Johnson wrote the second one. Kelly Link and Cassandra Clare wrote the third one. Cassandra Clare and Robin Wasserman wrote the fourth one. And so on, repeating a pattern or something. That's probably what's it. And it's really interesting to know what happened in the between of the mortal instruments and the infernal devices. And if you see it, well, it's kind of fun, you know? The, your heroes of the infernal devices meeting your heroes of the of the mortal instruments it's really fun and it's great don't you think and this is most this is mostly about uh, this um Alec and Matt uh, there's some part of it is about Alec and Magnus making out on each other because they're gay I mean it's uncomfortable but it's completely natural and and they have a kid, and how their life's going, and uh, that gets into Jim Carstairs, who has now become Brother Zachariah, and uh, on his quest to find the lost Herondale. The Herondale is, um, is a family of very loyal shadow hunters, and they really, really want to find the lost Herondale line that had been going on for some while. And they know that the Herondales are in terrible danger. Which means that they needed to be found and protected. Because Jim, Jim Carsters, aka Brother Zachariah, holds a great debt to William Herondale, those Herondales' distant ancestor. And so on. And it's a, it's a great book and... I like, I especially like the part where Alec Lightwood and Jim Carstairs and Tessa Gray meet to defeat terrible evil that's going on in somewhere. And, okay, that, that was vague, vague, but I couldn't really remember. Buenos Aires, I think? Yeah, Buenos Aires, I'm pretty sure. And at Buenos Aires, the... Um, the, the the institute there is absolutely absolutely corrupt and they're acting as mercenaries which is absolutely corrupt as I have already said and and so they're there to stop the corrupt corrupt institute and to stop the warlock who has been um who has been kidnapping werewolves and trying to make them breed with demons so, so that the new warlock that will be created will be extremely powerful. For like, for example, Tessa Gray, who is the son of, a, uh, who is the daughter of a prince of hell, and a shadow hunter, which makes her a very, very powerful creature, and which means she's immortal and she's very powerful at warlock magic and has the blood of the angel in her, which means she is very powerful, as I have repeatedly said, quite accidentally. 
It's a great book, great read. I mean, it's not that important to the contribution of the two series that everyone's probably concerned about, but yet it is quite great. It's a great read, and you won't even know the time passing by like I have already said. And like always, the book quest around the book quest.